For the salad, you'll need a bowl of organic mixed greens. I chose to use these instead of iceberg lettuce because it's traditional in Chinese cooking, but I'm just not a fan of it. For your vegetables, you'll need one small red onion, carrots, celery, handful of grape tomatoes, red bell pepper, but you can use any color, seeded, and cucumber slices. Make sure you save some cucumber slices though for the refreshing fun cocktail I'm gonna show you later. And by the way, I use my food processor to do all the slicing for me. That way all my vegetables are uniform and it makes salad much easier to eat. Toasted sliced almonds, which you're gonna top your salad with. Make sure you don't mix it through though. It's really for that extra crunch on top. One can of mandarin oranges. Make sure they're packed in water though and not that sugary, sticky syrup. That stuff's really bad for you. You can buy a dressing like I did at the store today. This is fat free and it's called Asian Toasted Sesame. You don't want to ruin that nutritious salad with dressing. That's 150 calories a tablespoon, do you? To mix your salad, just go in with clean hands. After all, they are your best tools. You're in the mood. Make your own dressing by combining a touch of rice wine vinegar, a shallot, little salt, little pepper, reduced fat, peanut butter, sesame seeds, and a half a cup of sesame oil in the bowl of a food processor or a blender that pulls it until everything is combined. Pulse it though or you'll end up with soup instead of a nice creamy dressing. All right, go ahead and get your salad in your serving bowls. Oh my gosh, the vegetables are so cold and crunchy. It's, they're just amazing. I love fresh produce. There's really nothing like it. Sometimes it's costly, but if you ask me, I think it's worth the money. Mmm, cucumber, onion, tomato, yum, yum, yum. Okay, look at all the fun colors. Go ahead and top it with your almonds. Not too much, you don't want to overload it. You might go nutty. Some oranges, make it pretty. The orange stands out more than any of the other colors. Because besides the carrots, it's the only orange thing. So pretty. Don't ever do that either. And just a pinch of sesame seeds. And I serve my dressing on the side so I can save my leftover salad. And you know, most people like to dress it differently. Some like a little, some like a lot. Serve it on the side and you'll always be safe. All right, while well, I was making my salad, my beef and broccoli finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the bowl that I have the rest of it in. It's still hot because I covered it. Bring it back over here, and we're gonna plate it. To plate, go ahead and spoon your rice onto your serving dish. Don't these red ones look very oriental and fun? I think so. Oops, a little messy there, but that's okay. It's all gonna get mixed together anyways. A couple spatulas full of the beef and broccoli. I can't stop smelling it, it smells so good. Mmm, nice protein, vegetable, and carbs. It's a perfectly balanced meal if you ask me. And to garnish, we're gonna sprinkle with our sesame seeds and our scallions. And you're in Chinatown, baby. The scallions give such a good crunch to the top and it tastes so good since the broccoli becomes a little soft when you cook it. Mm -hmm. I always serve Asian food with a cup of green tea and this fun virgin cocktail. Mm, that's good. All right, to make the cocktail, take about six to seven mint leaves and cut them in half just to bruise them a little to release the flavor. Take your cocktail shaker filled with ice. Don't fill it up all the way though, just about a quarter. Throw your mint in. And now we're going to add one shot of orange juice per person. I'm making two servings, so I'm gonna add two. And pineapple juice is really sweet. So depending on how sweet you want it, that's how much you're gonna add. I'm just going to add one because I really like the other flavors and pineapple juice overpowers them a little. 
and you're going to add one shot per person of Hawaiian ginger syrup. You can order this online or you can make it yourself just like you would any other syrup by reducing down fresh ginger, sugar, and a little water. I learned how to make this drink in Hawaii by the way. It is so good. Squeeze of lemon. And you're going to throw those cucumber slices I told you to save from your salad in there. The lemon slices right in there. Now it's really important to give this a good shake to make sure all of the flavor releases from the mint. Because since we're straining it through a shaker so it doesn't get caught in your teeth, you want to make sure that you get all the flavor. not a lot, but trust me, this mixture is very sweet and very strong. Take the top off your shaker and you want to fish out those cucumber and lemon slices. just explode on me. And I'm lucky today. This is so good. If you want to make it alcoholic, add about a shot per person of citron or mandarin vodka and you're in for a real treat. But I like it this way today. I think it's fun to use chopsticks when you're eating Asian food and your guests will agree too and no excuses like give me a fork. I don't know how to use chopsticks. You can buy these cute little cheater sticks. They're attached. So it takes a lot of the work out of it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time, probably in a different part of the world.